The USA had a goal called back. David Christian passed to Buzzy Snyder, but he was offside. Both skates were over the center red line when he accepted the pass. The play was disputed, but there was really no basis for argument, as Soviet official Viktor Dombrowski was right on top of it, and he made the right call. You'll see it on the replay, the offside pass. No question, he receives the pass over the center red line. Swedish goalie Pelle Lindbergh a little upset because the whistle had gone, but the player took the shot. Team USA had another great scoring opportunity. A short time later on this play, number nine, Neil Broughton. It's stopped by Lindbergh, gets the rebound. But Mats Waltin, a Swedish league all-star, makes a key defensive play. And the puck was finally smothered. On the replay, look how close that was. But again, Lindbergh, a big save. The game's first goal, scored by Sweden. Number 23, Lars Moline, starts the play, passes to Berglund, watch the play in front to Anderson. He deflects it past Craig, and Sweden moves in front, one to nothing. The game's first goal, Lars Moline, number 23, setting it up, Anderson right in front, and deflects it home. The game did feature impressive goalkeeping at both ends. Watch the skate save that the American goalie Craig makes on this play as action is heavy around the USA net. Craig gets that right skate and kicks that shot away. Team USA tied the game late in the second period. A two-man breakaway. It's set up by number five, Mike Ramsey. Mark Johnson and Dave Silk sent in all alone. Silk, number eight, scores the goal. It's 1-1 at that point. Silk, a 22-year-old right winger from Massachusetts. And the American supporters had plenty to cheer about at this stage. Johnson and Silk in all alone. Johnson gives it to Silk, and he fires it home. And it's 1-1 at that point after two periods. Lloyd? So it's the United States and Sweden, a must game for the U.S. They should gain a point here in order to put themselves in good contention for the medal round. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. third period of what has been a pretty good hockey game between the United States and Sweden. The second game of the Olympic tournament. It's a 1-1 tie. Sweden inside the zone. A shot taken there just inside the blue line by Thomas Jonsson. And it's goal just wide of the net into the corner and the Americans will take over in their own end. Mark Johnson deep in his own end. He leaves it off for David Christian. Christian circling his own net to the far side now and it's fired out over center ice. And moving in over the line comes Johnson. Johnson losing the puck in the corners. The Swedes take over and now they come out of their own end. It's center ice for Sweden. That's Mats Naslund, number 15, but he can't control it. It's sent right back into the Swedish zone. Jonsson's got it, but he loses it, and it's slammed in against the boards there as Mark Johnson took it. Now Johnson battling in the corner along with Jonsson, and it's held there, and it'll be called for a face-off deep in Swedish territory. So there was one goal in the first period. That one scored by Sture Andersson at 11.04, and then just seconds before the second period ended, David Silk scored for Mike Ramsey and Mark Johnson, 1932, and it's a 1-1 hockey game. Face off to the right of the Swedish goal from the face off back to the blue line, getting set and getting a shot away is Ramsey, and a pile up in front of the net, the puck winds up in the corner. Erzioni clearing it to the side of the net, and Sweden will come away with it now at center ice, all there. Alberg to the line. Alberg cutting it over the line. Still has that puck. Shoots it in front of the net, but it's intercepted there by Ken Morrow. Morrow behind the net. Morrow leaving it for Broughton. Broughton getting it along the boards, but it's kept in by Söderstrom. The U.S. trying to get out of their own end now. A 1-1 tie. The puck is out at center ice. And intercepted there by Baltin, a veteran on this team. Erickson, Erickson trying a rink-wide pass. That was knocked down by Ramsey of the U.S. Now Albert gets the line. He's offside with a player trap and will have a face-off. Played a minute and 32 seconds here in the third period. 1-1, the United States and Sweden. Tommy Sandlin, the Swedish coach, uh, has been the Swedish national coach before and also the coach of Brynäs, the club that uh, Boris Sommig had played for before coming to the Toronto Maple Leafs. 
the puck at center ice. Now Anderson. Anderson over to the far side, bringing it over the line for Sweden is Erickson. Behind the net, the United States. Around the boards, out to the blue line. Anderson keeping it in. Now it's off the heel of Pavlich's skate. Pavlich chasing it after it in the center ice area. Here's a rink wide pass. Harrington over the line, but he can't reach that puck as it's steered behind the net by goaltender Pelle Lindberg. We're making goaltending in this game. Lindberg in the Swedish net. And Jim Craig for the United States. Puck is shot well wide of the net, behind the net for the U.S. Buzz Snyder. Got it out in front. Nobody there could put it in. And that's at center ice now. For Sweden, Moline over the line. Into the corner for Luckner. Cleared around the boards, out to the point. Kicked right back in again by Jonsson. But the United States takes over once again. Pavlich at center ice. He's number 16. Over the line. Pavlich stick handling along the line. And he lost possession of it. But the U.S. still in possession at center ice as Baker shoots it in. Pavlich sticking in after it. Pavlich in the corner with a defenseman break all over him. He manages to get it around the boards. And Schneider. But it's cleared out to center ice. And once again, Baker going back for it. He'll touch it. And icing will be the call. Very interesting game in the first period. Sweden dominated the game, outshot the United States by quite a margin. Just a complete reversal in the in the second period. Mainly a lot to do with fans like this gentleman on your picture. Here we see some of the action going into the corner. Harrington taking the Swedish player hard into the boards. But it turned around in the second period, and the fans started USA, USA. U.S. came back in the second and early in the third have dominated the, the, the period so far. From the faceoff, Silk, he's got the goal for the United States. It's number eight going against the boards after that puck. And it's finally pinned in against the boards, and we'll have a faceoff again to the right of goaltender Pelle Lindbergh. Lindbergh is a good goaltender, and uh, they say this is the main strength of the Swedish team is their goaltending. And Lindbergh belongs to the Philadelphia Flyers if he ever decides to turn to the National Hockey League. That's all the Flyers need. They've got great goaltending already. Puck is against the boards. Cleared along the boards. Norbert can't get it. There's Wells clearing it across. Oh, what a save there. Great reaction by Lindbergh as that puck came across the goal mouth. Now here's the United States putting the pressure on. And that shot by Morrow was just wide of the net as it went off a skate. Now behind the net, the U.S. starting to put a little pressure on is taking the puck in his own end is Holmgren. Holmgren going in against the boards along with Mark Wells. Cleared out in front of his own net and clearing it out to center ice is Norberg down into the U.S. zone where it'll be touched by Morrow and called for a base up. What a great chance there. The United States very nearly went into the lead. Fans booing the Swedish team for icing the puck, but quite common in Europe to take the pressure off when they're really uh, being dominated in their own zone. Lindbergh just getting his toe there. Silk has got the first uh, goal for the United States, had an excellent opportunity. Lindbergh just coming across, stopping with the toe of escape. Base off will be to the right of the Swedish goal again. Mark Johnson, the centerman for the United States. Taking the draw, but winning the draw for Sweden was Hakan Eriksson. The United States has the puck inside the zone, but can't control it, and Eriksson will come out of his own end. Eriksson at center ice, beats it off on the right side to Alberg. Alberg shooting it in, but Christian takes over behind his net. There's it into the corner. Picking it up, starting out of his end now for the United States. That is McClanahan. Over the line, McClanahan trailing on the play, nearly picked it up, but it's taken away now for Sweden by Alberg. Alberg at center ice, falling just as he hit the line there with Sutterstrom, and the United States once again. Flipping it out to center ice, knocking it down as Valtini loses the puck. Here's the chance. Oh, hit the post. He made the save, but it dribbled by him and hit the post. Great chance again for the United States as they are maintaining the momentum of play that seemed to go their way during that first period, the second period of this game. Now, again, it's Maltine coming out of his own end. Drops the puck back. Picking it up is Moline. Moline over the line. Fakes the shot. Shoots, and he shot it wide. Over on the far side. After the puck is Erickson. Into the corner it goes. And the United States, Christian, as it rolls back to the far side. Look there. Look there. Scores! With startling suddenness, Sweden has gone into the lead after a couple of great opportunities that just didn't result in goals for the United States. Well, what a difference a post makes. Mark Johnson, uh, who I consider to be the best player in the United States team, hitting the post, Sweden coming right back, Erickson left all alone, 
just in front of the net. And actually, the forechecking of the Swedish team was excellent. They, they hustled right into that zone early, threw it in front of the net. Ericsson was all by himself. Here you see him just parked off the edge. The puck comes across, and he just directs it all in one motion. He doesn't really shoot it as the puck comes out of the corner. He just directs it by Craig. Well, now it's comeback time for the United States. They trail in it two to one. Erickson getting the goal. Puck is rolled out in front. Here's a chance for the U.S. Moore. Schutzin's right on with it, and he took it off the shoulder, did Lindbergh, and holds on. Great chance there for Erzioni, who got into the slot area and had the goaltender cold. So the faceoff will be to the left of the Swedish goal. On the faceoff, Erziono goes after it, but the Swedes control it. It's clear to the line, not out. Just hits the line now, falling as he tried to get out of his own end as Erzioni gets it again on his knees on the far boards. Now he's circling with it. Erzioni back into his own end. Morrow, Morrow cutting across ice. Now it feeds it off to Kristoff. Kristoff over the line. Kristoff along with Broughton. He's number nine. And it'll be called for a faceoff outside the line. A tripping penalty here to Sweden, just in front of the Swedish bench, just before the United States controlled that puck. Just man advantage, man advantage coming up for the United States. Just the third penalty in this game, all minors. Jonsson. This one comes at the 532 mark. at 532. The puck moving just in front of the Sweden's bench. There's the tripping call. Just pull the skates out from underneath them. Maybe a little skate between the legs. Referee for this game, Viktor Dombrovsky of the Soviet Union. There you see him. The linesman, Kent Stewart of Canada. And Nico Tumman of Holland. On the faceoff, the United States controls the puck as it comes back out to the blue line. Baker, Baker feeding it in. Rolled it out in front, getting a chance here is Johnson, but he just couldn't hang on to the puck, had to go to the boards for it. Now back to Christian at the blue line. Back to Johnson. Johnson moving in. Johnson getting set. Tried a shot and it went off a leg, but it goes behind the net, and the United States still maintains possession. Johnson out to the blue line. Christian, number 23. Christian just backing along the line, gives it into Johnson. Johnson back behind the net, tried to give and go on that one. Now Johnson takes a whack at it, and it hopped over top of the net. A bit of a battle behind the net there. It's Erickson. Erickson unable to control it, gets it again, and he'll bring it out to center ice as he feeds it off to the left side. Erickson shooting it right back into his own end. Ball team. There are two Erickson on the ice right now. Number six for Sweden is Jan Erickson. As now the United States with 106 remaining in the power play. Christian at center ice to the line. Marcus stick handled along the line, still inside the zone though, moving in deep after it is Baker. Baker clearing it into the corner. Now they control the puck inside the zone. Back out to the blue line, Johnson. Johnson hitting it in, McClanahan rolled it across. And cutting in from the wing there was Dave Christian, but unable to get the shot away. Now it's taken by Strobel. Strobel gets to the side net, roll in front, a shot, and down goes the goaltender. Where's the puck? It comes loose and is carried into the corner. United States with a great chance there. Now it's center ice, Lars Moulin circling back in his own zone as the United States caught changing there. We're unable to get any pressure on Moline. Ramsey goes deep in his own end after the puck. We've got 19 seconds left of the power play. Into the corner, Naislin. Naislin jamming in there, puck comes to the blue line. Nicely stick handled by Holmgren. Holmgren shoots it right out to center ice. There it's taken by Weinstock. Over to the far side, there Erickson, Hocken Erickson. At center ice now, they will bring it with Naislin carrying the puck. Naislin just shot it right onto the stick of Morrow. The penalty has ended at center ice for the U.S. Mike Ramsey. Ramsey bottling up the players. Erzioni's over the line. There's a shot and a glove save there by the goaltender. And a little shoving and pushing going on in against the glass involving Erzioni, the team captain, and Hakan Eriksson of Sweden. Both of them going to get penalties, a little uh, pushing behind the net, but a good call by Dombrowski before, because what happened, the linesman got caught up against the boards, and he blew the offside before this little scuffle started at the blue line. Here we see uh, the few little punches thrown. The gloves not coming off, but both players going off for roughing. So 
Double penalties, double minors. They'll come at the 7.45 mark of the period. Faceoff will be outside the blue line of Sweden. Erzione, you saw him in the penalty box. We mentioned the team captain. For Boston University is the second all-time point getter at the school. Just one point behind their top player ever at the school, Rick Mahar, now with plays in the Montreal Canadian system at Nova Scotia. Out at center ice now. Third off on the boards to Weinstock over the line. Suter's got it. Suter, he'll start out of his own end now. Suter at center ice. Here's a break. Over the line they come. And they try to drop the puck back. There's a shot. And it's juggled by Lindbergh. That got all messed up as it came over the line. But then the, inadvertently, there was a good drop pass made. And uh, a good save made by Lindbergh. And another pile up in front of that net. Buzzy Schneider has great speed for the United States team. He's a veteran of the last Olympic team in 1976. In fact, I remember a big goal he got for the United States. Here we see he's got great speed, Schneider, not a great goal scorer. He breaks it, tries to drop it to his partner. Here we see Lindbergh going down, catching the puck as Schneider made the play, breaking in the middle and then giving a little drop pass. Another look at it from a different angle. Lindbergh holding the puck, killing it, getting the face off. Now the face off. Ramsey's got it. Here's a shot, and it just deflected wide. That one hit a skate and then slowed right up and had Lindbergh off balance, but it went wide of the post. Behind the net now for Sweden. Into the corner goes Erickson, Jan Erickson, and he is checked on the play, tried to get it out in front, but it was intercepted, and Baltine's got it for Sweden. Baltine with Feinstock at center ice. Baltine to the line, over to the far boards now. Erickson, Erickson. Trying to find a man in front, but he's checked on the play, and the U.S. comes away with it. At center ice, Pavlich, a rink-wide pass, but standing up there and taking it was the veteran, Baltin, and he sends it back to his mate, Per Lundqvist. At center ice, Erickson. Erickson shooting it in. It's in on the far boards. Taken by Erickson, or rather by Baker for the U.S. Baker coming to center ice. Down over the line now comes Strobel. Strobel shot, and he's wide with it. And cutting it on the boards on the far side is Baker. Into the corner. The Swedes come out. Thomas Jonsson giving it to Stoute Andersen. At center ice. There is Moline over the line. Moline heading for the corner. Trying to set up a play in front of the net. Moline's pumped off the puck there. Puck goes into the corner. A shot wide of the net. Knocked down and taken into the corner for the United States by Bill Baker. He gets it out to center ice. And it's cleared in and back out again and chasing it down on this side for Sweden is Lars Moley. Now over the line, trying to get free of the checking there was Lindqvist. He's unable to, and the puck is cleared all the way out to center ice. Play a little scrambly right now as teams are checking well here. And over the line for Sweden is Moline. Moline to the side of the net, but he's checked off the puck, and here comes the U.S. once again. Up the right boards. But unable to get past the checking was David Silk. It's out at center ice. Again, the Swedes throwing it deep into U.S. territory. Christian's back to touch it, and it's called on the icing. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Anybody want to play around the clock? Gee, I'd get tired after a couple hours. First, you have to start with a double. Can I just stick with my golden? Yeah. Hi, uh, what's your sign? X. Why is it some chicks can't take yes for an answer? How do you feel about darts? Oh, about the same as pleats. It's all in the wrist. Uh-uh. It's all in the glass. The point of this commercial? When it's a good, smooth golden, you go for it. Well, there's the coach of the United States, Herb Brooks. He's a gold medalist a few years ago as part of that 1960 United States team at Squaw Valley. Matter of fact, the son of one of the players on that U.S. team is playing for the U.S. team here. David Christian, son of Billy Christian, part of the Christian brothers, were well known in amateur hockey circles around the world in the 50s and 60s. The United States, of course, hoping that home ice advantage will help them once again. 
this 1980 version of the Winter Olympics. Buck is cleared into the Swedish bench, called for a faceoff. Well, I think home ice has already helped. I think that the fans, certainly in the uh, arena today, are, are chanting USA, USA, USA. And I think that after sort of a dismal first period that they had, I think the fans uh, uh, shouting and getting them back in the game here has, has made a difference to them in, uh, in the second and third period. There's a shot quick and Silk again. Barely finds Peter. Silk against the boards, being tied up. The puck pops to Waltine. He doesn't take it. Leaves it there for a mate. Now Silk's got it along the boards once again. Silk out in front of that, and there's a chance as fanning on it was Bill Berchota. He goes in against the boards after the puck now. They poke away at it, and it's called for another faceoff. And both teams will make changes here. Herb Brooks is the coach now at the University of Minnesota and has had a great deal of success there. And many of his players from the University of Minnesota are playing on this U.S. national team. I swear half of them are going to end up with the Minnesota North Stars. Is it? The way they've been drafting them. They've got quite a number of them. Now from the faceoff, again Sweden with a quick break and it's thrown all the way down the ice past Per Lundqvist. It goes deep into USA territory, but it was offside in any case. And icing will be called. Face off. We'll be back down to the left of the Swedish goal. Well, a very uh, good call, as a matter of fact, because even though the Swedish player did touch the puck, he was offside at center ice, coming all the way back, so it might as well have been the icing call, but not really an icing, but an offside call going all the way back into Sweden's zone. Well, the crowd's starting to get up again. As from the face off. Ercioni, Ercioni couldn't control it, but still kept in the zone. Now it's fed out over center ice. Lundqvist racing after it, deep in the USA territory. But back there to touch it is Christian. Christian behind the net, battling with Lundqvist. Lundqvist still after that puck, but the USA prevails, and here they come once again. Kristoff out of his own. At center ice, Kristoff still with the puck as he hits the line. Now he's checked, and the puck goes loose. Christian's got it. Christian shooting it in. Now deep in the zone, here's a chance. Front, front looking for Bennett, front! And a player was dumped up right in front of the net there. Arcioni, that was, the bucket brought back out to center ice. There's a long shot, and that got through Craig's legs, and ends up in the corner. Now Arcioni, there's a shot, loved easily by Craig. Christian's behind his own net. Christian being chased by Naslin. Into the corner it goes. Number 18 for Sweden is Holmgren. He gets it over for Lindholm. A shot by Weinstock that uh, is deflected into the corner. And the USA trying to get out of their end now. Starting out is Erzioni. He's checked on the play. The puck winds up in the corner with Johnson. Johnson, a quick shot. Juggled by Craig. He'll hold on. We'll have a face off. The puck that put that five fake uh, was a very dangerous shot that seemed to go right underneath his legs and out the other side but wide of the net. But the first time today where really he hasn't looked certain. He's looked very sure in the goal for the United States today. A very steady goalkeeper. He's played well all year. There's that shot juggled by the Craig, which caused the current stoppage in play. Faceoff will be to Craig's uh, left. He's from the Boston University, a team that won the NCAA title in the United States, the college title, in 1978. Puck comes out over the blue line as it hopped over the stick of Jan Eriksson. Eriksson goes down, but here comes Pavlich over the line. A shot, and a good one it was. Just missed the outside of the post. We're going to have a penalty called against, I believe, the Swedes. It will be called, and the United States will have the opportunity again to make use of a power play. With 743 left the holding penalty to sweep. The United States going to have the, uh, the advantage. The Swedish captain complaining to referee Dombrowski with two minutes for holding. He gives the sign to the scorekeeper going off. The United States are going to have the advantage again. So a holding penalty. The time of the penalty will be well, 12 17. United States, Mark Johnson controlling it against the boards, being taken in. That wasn't the original infraction. That was the second infraction where they were trying to control the puck, getting the, the goaltender out. The original infraction, which caused the penalty, was on the far side and again on Johnson, or on uh, Mark Johnson. So Jan Eriksson in for a holding at 12-17, and the faceoff will be just inside the blue line. Sweden leading this hockey game here in the third period by a score of 2-1. to one. Kristoff taking the draw for the U.S. Just kept in over the line there by Christian on the boards. Christian trying to block it, but it pops out over the blue line and down into the United States zone. And back to get it will be Ramsey. Ramsey circling the net. 
Starting out on the left boards, Ramsey chased out of the play there, still gets the puck, prevails as he gets over the line now, tried to backhand it into the slot area, but there was nobody there that could reach that. Now it's clear to the blue line, Christian keeping it in, he moves in, takes the shot, and it goes high into the air, it's the back boards, and the United States has got the puck again. Christian, Christian working along the blue line. Christian getting set, here's the shot, and it's just deflected wide. It came off the stick directly in front of the net of Erzioni. Erzioni in against the boards now. The U.S. trying to roll it in front. It goes into the corner. Christian's after it. Christian shooting it in. Now along the boards for the United States. Kristoff. Kristoff trying to find a man in front now. Kristoff now drops it back to Christian. Christian getting set. Now in for Kristoff. He's set in front and he shot it wide. It goes into the corner for Sweden. It's cleared down the ice by Swedish player Eriksson. Great. Leaves it for Christian. Christian shooting it around the boards on the far side. Bill Baker for the United States. Along the boards, Valteen. And Baker gets it again. Now to Christian. Christian up ahead at center ice. Carrying the puck for the U.S. is Mark Johnson. Johnson tried to get it over to the far side, but it rolled out the end of his stick, and Kristoff couldn't make it. Now Johnson tries to get it out in front. Parked right in front of the net there was Erzioni, but it was intercepted by the goaltender and winds up down in the U.S. zone again. Back to get it is Morrow. He stopped up behind his net. Now ahead for Baker. Baker at center ice. Carrying the puck for the United States is Broughton. He's over the line. Broughton to Silk. Silk in the corner. And the Swedes make the check there, and it comes out to center ice. Naslund for Sweden. Naslund over the line. Naslund trying to get set, and he is flattened just as he tried to hit the line. And I believe there's going to be a cross-checking call made, and a rather questionable one, I thought, on the defenseman for the United States, Ken Morrow. European officials interpret when you move your arms well ahead of your body with the stick, even if the if the check is not all that hard, they interpret that as being cross-check. And even though it doesn't seem to be, we just see the end of the check. Morrow stepping in front of the Swedish player, cross-checking, moving those arms too far away from in front of his body with the stick. Okay, Ken Morrow off for cross-checking at 14-15. The face-off will be in the U.S. zone with Sweden holding a manpower advantage. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. The score is Sweden 2, the United States 1. Just about set to go as soon as they can get the alignments out here. It'll be four skaters to three, really. Here's Victor Dombrowski. This penalty will be Schneider for the United States along with Baker and Ramsey. Mike Ramsey, first time ever a United States player, a United States born player, had been chosen in the first round of the draft, and he was this past summer by the Buffalo Sabres. Elected, of course, to stay with the U.S. Olympic program. Now it's Ramsey who's got the puck right at the blue line. He winds up the shot, deflects off a couple of legs, and winds up behind the net. Sweden having a little difficulty getting moving here. Turning in his own zone, Mats Valtin. Around the boards on the side now, and at center ice is Erickson. Erickson's checked by Pavlich. Third back to Ramsey in his own zone. Ramsey to Baker. Baker along the boards, and they got by everybody down the ice into Swedish territory, and Valtin will try once again. Valtin standing behind his net. Here he comes. From behind the net, he starts out. Valtin tried to get a pass away, and he caught his man not really moving too well, and so it winds up being cleared all the way down the ice, and Baker's got it in his own end. And it's called on the icing on that play, and we'll come back down to the Swedish end for a face-off with 103 remaining in the penalty. United States doing a terrific job. Schneider and Pavlich putting a lot of pressure. Uh, even though they're short-handed, they come after you when they're short-handed. They don't just don't turn and pick their wings up when they're short. They forecheck very vigorously, trying to slow you up in your own zone, making you take your time coming out. And, and really, the Swedish team hasn't got the puck over the United States blue line and are able to set up their power play. They've had a great deal of difficulty breaking the U.S. Well, time becoming a factor for the United States. 4.48 left in the hockey game. They trail by one here. A closely fought contest. Now from the faceoff, 
Kristoff couldn't get any control of it, and Sweden comes away at center ice. Right. Now Lundqvist, he's number eight, against the boards. Leads it in deep, watch the area in front of that. Now here it comes, and a chance for Sweden, but they shot it wide. As cutting across in front of the goal mount, there was Erickson. Now back to the blue line. There's a shot, a screen shot, and just getting his glove on that was goaltender Jim Craig. Behind the net, Kristoff. Kristoff shooting it down the ice. And Sweden will go back and regroup with 31 seconds remaining in the penalty. Comes up to the blue line. Here's Christian with a chance, and that was blocked by the defense. Steered into the corner. Another shot that is deflected wide of the net. And taken by Skoda Anderson. He gets it to Berglund. Berglund at center ice. Berglund over the line. Working for the corner. On top of him is Dave Christian. And he's cleared out to center ice once again. Back into his own end. Weinstock. Weinstock behind his own net. Number four for Sweden. Out at center ice. Berglund. Berglund had to go off the heel of his skate. All the way down into the USA zone. Baker. Baker ahead. Intended for Morrow. That went by everybody. And down into the Swedish territory. The penalty is over. We've got 338 left in this hockey game. Naslund. Naslund. Along the boards, took a check, but Sweden maintains possession. Out over the line they come. There's the quick shot. The rebound comes right back out in front of the net, but Johnson just wasn't in deep enough to get any kind of a shot away. Out of the far side. USA looking for that break now if they can, and they feed it all the way down into the Swedish zone. Offside on the play with Strobel, but it was a delayed offside, and Sweden was allowed to bring it back out. Holmgren in for checking. The USA clear it right down into the Swedish zone, and it's called on the icing, the faceoff will be back in U.S. territory. Well, at this point of the hockey game, uh, Sweden making another change. When you've got a one-goal lead, three minutes to go in the hockey game, you want to change at every opportunity. Make sure that the people that are out there are as fresh as you can have them at this point in the hockey game. They have to check hard to try and maintain that one-goal lead. They're not too interested in getting the goal at this point unless the United States is forced to take that goaltender out. But here they want fresh people, check well, do the job, get off quickly. There you see the story. 3.06 left in the game. And the score, Sweden 2, USA 1. As from the faceoff, around the boards, Mike Ramsey. Hits it again. Clears it out to center ice. Silk racing after it, but cutting across ice is Erickson. And he shoots it into the corner on this side. Out to the blue line, Baker just traps it out there. Has to wait for Mates to get back on side. Back now for Ramsey. Ramsey to Verchota. Back to Ramsey. Ramsey... Center ice, flipping it in over the blue line, and digging in after it is Silk once again. Silk in the corner, cleared to the blue line, all the way down the ice. We'll get icing again as long as uh, the U.S. player gets to it first, and Ramsey's back there to get it, and it'll be called with 2.28 left in the hockey game. Should mention the importance of this game, Tom, because the team that loses this could very well find itself out of the medal round. Well, you never like to lose the first game, but it's certainly true. The United States has a very difficult draw uh, in the hockey game, or in the tournament. They play their first game against Sweden, who uh, are the uh, bronze medalists at the last World's Championships, and they play tomorrow against the Czechoslovakians, who are the silver medals. So they, their first two games are certainly tough. Well, the faceoff will be to the left uh, goaltender, Pelle Lindberg. Broughton will take the draw against Moline. And from the faceoff, uh, they'll do that all over again. Some encroachment as Naslund got into the faceoff area. There's Moline, number 23 for Sweden. Shouldn't mention the youngster on the wing, Naslund, who the Canadians, the Montreal Canadiens, drafted last year. Hoping to eventually talk him into coming to North America to play hockey. The puck is in the zone, cleared out to the blue line. Christian just keeping it in, and he shoots it into the corner. The United States now will pull out all the stops. Out in front of the net, and it went off a leg there as reacting was Hawk and Erickson, and Erickson comes away with it to center ice. Erickson over to Naslund. Naslund, who's a good skater, comes in front of the net, but he is checked just as he tried to make the cut. And with less than two minutes remaining in the game now, the puck comes out of the blue line and hops over a stick. And is cleared back into the Swedish zone. Weinstock ahead for Naslund. Naslund shooting it in. Craig hangs out of the puck. Now leaves it for Kristoff. Kristoff is checked. Goes into the corner. They'll try and get Craig out of there. Here's a shot from the blue line that's wide of the net. And behind the net for the United States, Aruzioni. Behind the net, they try and cut in front of the net. And it rolled behind the net finally on the stick handle is Leif Holmgren. Still back there, battling away for it. And 
They'll try and pin the puck in if they can, but they weren't able to. That's cleared along the boards, but still kept in by Weinstock. He takes a shot that's steered into the corner, and it's all the way back out at center ice again. Here's Naslin coming over the line. Naslin, stick handling, shoots it. He's wide of the net with it. The U.S. having a difficult time gaining possession of the puck here as the checking by the Swedes has been very good. You see the time remaining in the game. 1-0-3. As against the bar boards. Here's a shot. That's stopped by Craig. Into the corner. Kristoff. Kristoff. Coming to center ice now. And here goes Craig. He's out of the net. Over the line comes Christian. Christian cutting for the net. Christian into the corner. Still with that puck. Now to Pavlich. Pavlich trying to find a man in front. The net is empty. And it winds up in the crowd. And it'll be called for a face off to the right of the Swedish goal. Craig on the bench, the extra attacker out there with only 41 seconds remaining in the hockey game. Face off in the Swedish uh, zone. This is where the importance of having good face off men comes in. Trying to win possession of the puck. And I'm sure the United States, Herb Brooks will have his best draw man in that circle. Trying to win possession. When you've got that man out, trying to get the opportunity to tie up the hockey game. And at a very, very important one point, if they do tie it, that would bring them back uh, against Sweden. Getting that one point, they would certainly have that mental aspirations with the tough game tomorrow against Czechoslovakia. All right, we've got Silk out there. He has been the number one player for the United States in this game. He has their goal, but he's also had a number of chances. Johnson's out there for the U.S. Pavlich on the blue line. Baker and Ramsey. Ramsey's got the puck. There's the shot. It's blocked at the defense. Now it's cleared over to this side. Baker has it. 35 seconds remaining. Into the corner. Behind the net now. The United States with the net empty and trailing by one here. Against the boards. It's rolled out in front. Here's a chance. Scores! Baker! And the Olympic Arena here in Lake Placid goes crazy. A great shot and a great goal. Baker moved in, moved in from the point. Moved right into the top of the circle and the puck came across. Being on the right side and the left shot, as it came across, he shot all in one motion. He didn't try to set up that puck, put it that That ensures that one point that they want out of this hockey game. A very, very, very important goal for the United States. Well, with the extra attacker on, Bill Baker of the United States from the University of Minnesota, to the crowd here at the Olympic Arena. You know, you talked about home ice advantage. When you're playing before your own countrymen, get a look at it again. There we see the puck now. Look where Baker has moved into, just to the top of the circle. Beats Lindgren on his glove side, but he didn't wait, didn't try to set it up. We're going to see another angle here. You see Baker just at the top of the screen moving in. The left shot, it comes across. Doesn't waste any time at all. Shoots all in one motion. On the face off, the puck is cleared in. Golfed around the boards by Sweden. This has got to be a downer for them. Erickson clearing it all the way down the ice. There's just 10 seconds left in this game, and it's called on the icing, and we'll have a face off in the Swedish end to wrap this hockey game up. Well, get your good face off man again. There's Baker. It's not over yet. <laughs> The United States may get two out of this. They're, they were hoping to get that tie, but this is a very important face-off. They're going to try for one shot here with nine seconds to go, and they're they'll get it if they get the drop. Now they're going to line them up in front of that net. We've got Christian back on the blue line along with Baker. A couple of good shots. Johnson also out there. Steve Kristoff. Johnson will take the draw against Sweden's Hakan Eriksson. remaining. Look at Christian. He's playing right at the top edge of the circle. He's the point man. From the faceoff, Bux rolls over in front of the net, but now the Swedes have it. They bring it out of their own end. Jan Eriksson clearing it all the way down the ice. Craig will look up at the clock. He touches the puck, and there goes the horn. And the fans here at the Olympic Arena are going to go home happy. They saw a comeback, and Sweden had to come back twice in this hockey game to gain a 2-2 tie. As you said, Tom, a very, very important single point for the United States. It may be their most important point of the, of the whole tournament because that one point, that one point, as we said, later down that road may make a big difference to their mental aspirations. Well, the United States had a, a slow down first period. They were outshot 16 to 7 by the Swedes and were down 1 to nothing, but they came back in the second period. 
got the only goal of that period. It was 1-1 coming into the third, and the team's divided goals. Tomas Erickson scoring early in the period, and then Bill Baker with less than a minute remaining. And the United States gains the 2-2 tie. There you see goaltender Jim Craig, who I was very impressed with in this hockey game. Very cool customer out there. Played a pretty good game. Both goaltenders played well. Craig was steady. Lindbergh made some spectacular saves. Earlier in the hockey game, Craig was really tested uh, and, and really stood up well. And then late in the hockey game, as we said before, when the United States came back, he was called upon to make some excellent saves. But good goaltending. Super hockey game. Both, both clubs went from beginning to end. A well-played game, a fast game. Not that many penalties. A good hockey game. Final shots on goal in the game uh, for Sweden, 39, for the United States, 29. In the third period, Sweden outshot the USA 12 to 10. And there you see the final score. The United States 2, Sweden 2. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Welcome back to our CTV Olympic coverage in Lake Placid, New York. And I'm sure you'll agree, Team USA and Team Sweden put on an action-packed game. And boy, what a finish, pulling the goalie and getting the tying goal. It was 1-1 heading into the third period, and Sweden went with a 2-1 lead. Lars Moline, number 23, passed it to number 27, Thomas Eriksson, and the 20-year-old defenseman makes no mistake beating goaltender Craig. What a combination in this game. Moline, one of the outstanding Swedish players, combining with Eriksson, number 27, Watch Erickson in front again on the replay, and he fires it home past Craig, and Sweden goes up by a score of 2-1. to one. Then the action, and boy, was their action. The crowd on their feet cheering the U.S. team on. 23-year-old defenseman Bill Baker scores and ties it up. Here's the shot. Coach Herb Brooks pulling bully Jim Craig in the final seconds. And Bill Baker makes no mistake, and he ties the game USA 2 and Sweden 2. And we'll have more coverage from Lake Placid. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic 